Are you realizing the value that analytics brings to your manufacturing operation? Having a single source of truth that provides up-to-date data enables you to drive your business, not react to it. With Oracle Analytics, you're able to gain insights to how your business is doing and ensure that you aren't missing any important indicators that affect your bottom line. With the embedded analytics capabilities like forecasting, you can see the future trends allowing you to make adjustments early enough to impact them. Whether you're tracking trends around your top metrics, comparing period over period changes, or leveraging interactive maps that provide your workforce with capabilities to dive into outliers and get to the root cause more quickly, Oracle Analytics can help. As we drill into the United Kingdom, we can now get a view of how these metrics impact them specifically. And we can see that the negative net income in August is impacted by this line of business. We can see that the current year operating expenses are on the rise, but we need to understand what is driving the increase. We can see that sales is the largest contributor, and when looking at the view by account group, we can see that operations and maintenance, as well as travel and expenses, are the largest contributors to operating expenses. Let's take a look at how it compares to budget. We can quickly point out changes such as the shift from positive to negative variance starting in the second half, and by overlaying the statistical trend, we can understand how much of that variation can be explained. By providing users with tools that enable them to choose their path of questioning and drill into the data, they can quickly find what's impacting the change. But users may want to understand if this is a future concern or if it was an isolated incident. By leveraging the out-of-the-box statistics, we can see what some of those trends are looking like based on the historical data. Now that we know where the expenses are coming from, let's look at what might be causing them. We'll start with our plant operations, since most of the expenses were in operations and maintenance. We immediately see that our backlog is above our threshold. By understanding how current KPIs are performing, you can quickly determine when something is not operating at an optimal level. The earlier you're informed of these changes, the sooner you're able to address them. It looks like we have extra maintenance costs for the CNC assets, and this could cause manufacturing productivity to drop. Having the largest portion of preventative maintenance costs and with the trend of inventory climbing, we should do some analysis to determine if our preventative maintenance schedules need adjusting. We're seeing our mean time between failures is within range over a large period, but we can see that more recently, it's dropping down below our average. Let's review the maintenance metrics to see if we need to make some changes. Looking into the maintenance overview, we can see our current and prior year failure costs. We can also see the costs distributed by the different assets that we have in our business. With Oracle Analytics' custom map layers, you can map data values over the top of an image, such as a manufacturing floor, in order to track and more easily showcase your users where the problems are. We can see here for the CNC asset that we've spent over $62,000 for the $87,000 piece of equipment. Based on conditional formatting, we want to look at when failure costs are 70% of the actual costs so that we can drill into them and understand what the replacement or maintenance plan should be. When looking at the CNC machine failures, our KPIs show that we're exceeding our targets for breakdowns. The conditional formatting in our table quickly points out that we have a large variance in operating temperature for these machines during the same time frame of expense spikes for our out-of-policy travel and hotel. As we dig further into the CNC machine failures, we can see how metrics differ between the operating state of a piece of equipment when it's broken and when it's working. These differences allow us to get an indication based on discrete data of where we should be focusing both by variability between the machine status and over time. But let's leverage some of the embedded machine learning capabilities in Oracle Analytics to dive in further and understand where we should be focusing based on what the key drivers are. By using Oracle Analytics' embedded machine learning, we can predict when machine failures are likely to occur and understand what the key drivers are. Here's an example of some drag and drop machine learning where no scripting is needed. By selecting the columns that you want from your dataset, you can go through and decide which training algorithms you want to use. Here, we're going to use SVM. It is a binary classification, and it's going to predict if the machine status is working or not working. We can see the machine status is zero for a positive class when it's working. There are other values you can set, or if using the defaults, you can give your model a name and save it and run it. This will provide you with an output of key drivers and other predictions for you to better predict machine failures. Let's take a look at the output of our algorithm that we've created from our trained model. 
we can understand the quality of our model based on the correlations that are ran and the coefficients that are returned. And we can see the details around which properties we used and the parameters that were selected. And we can also see all the outputs. Let's dive into the drivers and see if we can find any information about what's driving our part failures. With Oracle Analytics, any type of user can leverage the drag and drop interface to quickly understand the data. Whether you drag all elements and let the visual automatically generate or decide how you want to represent the information, the power is yours. We see we have positive and negative correlations. We'll first focus on the negative correlations of operating temperature as the primary key driver to potentially adjust our preventative maintenance. With the quick access to machine learning, we have a higher level of confidence in where we focus for the highest impact. And that's why we see Oracle Analytics playing an important role in helping you create a preventative maintenance framework. We've seen how machine learning plays a vital role in predicting potential equipment failures and how the use of machine learning models can expedite finding the key drivers, even without having deep machine learning knowledge. By providing a single source of truth, you avoid relying on spreadsheets that are impossible to manage, and you provide your users with tools that enable them to access up-to-date information, all with easy-to-use drag-and-drop report development capabilities. You can provide rich reporting to your organization in order to track your equipment status and performance, and you can even do so from a mobile device.